Adam from Stockwell Safety here and in this video I'm going to break down a example of an open book exam question and provide you with a structure that you can use to answer the question. The scenario is based on a forklift truck incident at a warehouse and we'll have a link to the scenario down in the description. The task is explaining the duties of employers to the employee and the question is what general duties of employers to their employees are likely to have been breached by the employer in this scenario and this question is worth 10 points. It says that you only need to consider those duties of employers under section 2 of the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974 and there's an additional note to say that you should support your answer where applicable using relevant information from the scenario. So I think there's a little bit of a danger with this question in that you could end up spending quite a lot of time and effort in your answer and end up scoring few points by veering away from what the requirements of the question are. To give you an example of that, if we go, go and have a look at the scenario, towards the bottom there is mention of the fact that a health and safety inspector has observed that written risk assessments are too general and do not reflect the actual risks in the warehouse. And what you might think is that it would be a good idea to start discussing a breach potentially because there's no risk assessments or the risk assessments aren't suitable and sufficient. The problem there is though that what you would be talking about is a potential breach of regulation three of the management of health and safety at work regulations but that is not what the question has asked for it's kind of boxed you in really and confined you only to talking about section two of the health and safety at work act so if you veered off like that and started discussing breaches of other pieces of legislation you wouldn't gain any points unfortunately. To tackle this question the first thing I'm going to do is read through the scenario carefully and then I'm going to pull out snippets of what I think are potential breaches of section 2 of the Health and Safety at Work Act and what I'm not going to do is overthink it at this stage because I know that I'm going to have another opportunity. There's a next stage to this process where I am going to have the opportunity to uh, fine tune things a little bit. So some of what I pull out of the scenario may end up being discarded, but that's not a problem. Things that I would be looking for, the first sort of couple of paragraphs just sort of set up the scenario really. And uh, it's not until you start getting down into the later paragraphs that you can see things that you could potentially pick out as breaches. So a lot of examples of rule breaking in the warehouse. So I'd cut uh, or copy and paste that. Good stacked denials and blocking designated walkways. Frequent near misses between forklift trucks and workers. And no written records of any of these. So all of these things, what I would do is copy and paste them into a separate document. And it's worth mentioning at this stage that you have to, in order to be able to do this on exam day, you have to have already done your studying. Yes, you can pull up section two of the Health and Safety at Work Act in a sort of separate browser. Like here, this is section two of the, uh, the Health and Safety at Work Act general duties of employers to their employees and you've got all the information there but it's going to take you too long on exam day to familiarize yourself with that information in a way that's going to enable you to do well on this exam question. Um, you're going to have to have already done your background studying and have this knowledge already dialed in in order to do well otherwise the whole day if you're approaching your questions in that way thinking that just because you've got access to the information on exam day you don't need to do your background studying you'll just end up wasting the day away familiarizing yourself 
with this type of information so that you can apply it to the exam question. So once I've done that, this is what it would look like. So I've got 11 snippets that I've taken out of the scenario and obviously feel free to pause the video and have a read through those if you'd like to. Now what I would do is use a three column structure to help me break down this task. So in the first column, I've got the actual snippet. In the second column, what I've got is a reference to the, the breach of the Health and Safety at Work Act, I think that that snippet could apply to. So for example, goods stacked in aisles and blocking designated walkways. So in my opinion, that could be a breach of subsection two and then part E. So let me show you that. This is subsection two and part E is the provision and maintenance of a working environment for his employees that is, so far as is reasonably practicable, safe and without risks to health. So going back to that snippet, the fact that goods are stacked in aisles and blocking designated walkways could be a breach because it's a failure to maintain a safe working environment. And I've just put in the third column just a, a few words just to rationalise why I think that that particular circumstance in the scenario is a breach of that particular part of the Section 2 of the Health and Safety at Work Act. So as you can see at this point what I've got is a table that gives me a structure to work with that puts me in a better frame of mind and I know that I'm going to be able to make good use of this table to actually put together an answer that I'm going to submit on my paper. And what I'll do in the next video, I'll go through how I would use this table to produce what would be my final answer that I would submit on exam day. I hope you've got some value out of the video that you've just seen. If so, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted to when we produce and upload more videos.